and hello again we're back with another one this one's a 2016 volkswagen sirocco it's the two liter petrol uh 180 brake horsepower the issue with this one is it has the following warning lights on the traction control warning light the tire pressure warning light the abs warning light and then also the steering wheel warning light on the left the epc uh, engine management and battery light are on because the ignition's off and the engine oh, because the engine's not running um so it's customer said apparently it's had new rear brakes and since then the lights have been on and the garage said that it needs some programming or something like that so we will see what the issue is whether it's a damaged sensor when something's been changed or fitted or um yeah we'll have a look see what's going on but we're just doing a scan on the car now it's gonna might take a little bit longer because on volkswagens they tend to take a little bit longer for some reason just like uh mercedes do as well um so just seeing what's going to pop up i'll pause it and resume shortly right then it's just finished scanning let's have a look at the report we have one fault in the engine control module invalid data received from abs system control module oh passive sporadic then we have in the abs module we have left rear wheel speed sensor implausible signal left rear abs wheel speed sensor mechanical malfunction error in electrical circuits volt vehicle voltage lower limit not reached tire pressure monitoring control module no signal communication and then left rear speed sensor incorrect signal um, and then fault with the brake control module in the steering assistance control module so we will check the live data and see what the signal looks like coming from the left rear speed sensor uh, yes it's all relating to the same sensor left rear wheel, wheel speed sensor all of them and then the tire pressure monitoring control module no signal um this in the steering control module is i'm guessing is going to be a adjustment it's going to need i don't know um we'll do some more reading on this see what's a bit of research see what comes up um but i think this will be because there's some some work's been undone on the brakes and it's not been something's not been reset or so some service procedures not been followed um and that's potentially why this um why this fault is there so we'll have a look um i'll stop filming and do some digging and come back with some answers shortly right then done some digging and the fault in the steering column control module relating to the abs is due to there being faults in the abs module so once the abs faults are cleared that fault should clear itself so the fault in the abs module is the left rear sensor and i've just gone into live data and as you can see the vehicle standing still ignition on but engine off we're not moving and the speed's going from between one kilometers an hour and nine kilometers an hour randomly so there's clearly a fault there is the fault with the module itself or is the fault with the sensor what we're going to do is disconnect that sensor and see if the fault disappears um, we may also remove the sensor just to inspect it visually make sure it's not damaged in any way um, but we're going to have to get the car jacked up wheel off and um, have a look at what's going there um, going on there might not have to get the wheel off we'll see but um, might be easier just to get the wheel off depending on where the sensor is located so I'll uh, get set up and um, yeah carry on filming shortly Let's 
So we have the ABS sensor just here. We'll get it disconnected. We'll see what's going on with it. See if we can change the uh, reading on the live data. Tell you what, this tool is one of my favourites. So handy, so handy. That would have been an absolute nightmare without that. Right, so it's disconnected. Let's go and have a look at the live data. See what's going on. Oh yeah, and by the way, did this first of all, obviously, and it's needs replacing. I think it's the original one still. Um, so that's going to need doing as well. And on the live data, it stopped giving us that dodgy signal. So I will hazard a guess that it is a failed speed sensor, nice and simple. Um, we'll pull the sensor just to inspect it quick if it's not too much trouble and um, have a little look but I think that's pretty much going to be uh, the only issue. Right so it was a bit of a pain to get the sensor out and I need to try and remember that time is money and I can't drag these jobs out any longer than they need to be um, so I need to just explain to the customer what's going on with this one it needs a new battery and a new left rear wheel speed sensor original Volkswagen no pattern parts so we're not messing around changing it twice um, you can see the speed was jumping up to 44 at one point um, it was going up to, you know it's, it's completely erratic and obviously when we disconnected it it worked it, it's it cancelled out so it's not the module it is in fact the sensor um, we'll tell the customer what he's doing they might take it to a garage to get it done they might ask us to do it we'll see um, if they do ask us to do it we'll film the rest of the video and upload if they don't ask us to do it we'll upload it as it is and um, on that note I will carry on filming on the next job if it's of any interest to um, if I think it's of of any interest to you guys I will film it um, so again thanks for watching um, I'll be back soon with some more videos